Good morning, everybody. It's an intentional interim pastor, Steve. It is April 3rd, 2020, and we're still in stay at home orders. And so I'm going to just, you know, I, I was saying to myself, what do I want to do for devotions for everybody? And I thought, why don't you just do what you normally do? And so I have been using this year, it's seeking God's face. It's there. I, I hope you can see it there. And it, it's every day it has a Bible verse or in a Bible reading and a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually one, two, three, four things you can do. I've used it in devotions for counsel. And so I'm just going to read today's. And it's today it says, the Lord is righteous. In, excuse me. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him. To all who call on him in truth. And that was Psalms 145, if you want to look it up today. It's 17 and 18. And then there's a Bible song, and this one comes from Psalms as well, and it's Psalms 28. It says, To you, Lord, I call, you are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward you, most holy place. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart masses, my, my heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and my song I will praise him. You know, it's hard to read as you saw. I should have made a bigger copy, but I don't normally make a bigger copy. So today, it also had a little exercise. Most of my devotions have exercises, something to do. And so it's said today that we should praise the Lord and we should cry out to him when we are in of need and today i think many of us are in need as we're still at home we're in day three of a 30-day flop wow so here we go today i want you to do is i want you to intentionally think about what do you need from god and and when you come up with that need stop and make a formal prayer say lord help me with this help me with my isolation help me with whatever it is and then, on an informal way, as you go throughout the day, as you see you need something, just shout it out. Lord, give me a hand. Lord, help me. Lord, help me do this. I need some strength here, Lord. Give me the power. And so, throughout the day, be intentional about telling the Lord what you need. First, in a formal prayer, every once in a while, stop, hold your hands, bow your heads. Of course, there's the other way you raise your hands up like this. There's, so, you decide how to formally pray. And then all day long, whenever something you need something, say, I need help, Lord. I need this. And then another thing, because I think you got to balance it. When something goes right and something goes good, say, praise God for this today. Thank you, Lord, for helping me. Praise you, God. And then when something goes bad, say, Lord, give me the strength. Give me the help. And so today it's an intentional day of prayer with God. It certainly fits our Lent theme. We're almost through Lent, we're headed for Holy Week next week. We'll see you on Palm Sunday. Um, God's blessings. Have a great day. Uh, enjoy. Let's have a prayer. Let's have a prayer before I go. So let's pray. Lord, we trust you to be with us. We ask that you just inflict on our heart today to be in prayer with you. Remind us to formally stop and pray and, and just tell you what we need and praise you for what you've done lord also just help us to all day long shout out to you what we need and what you have done praises for that we're we're trusting in that because jesus christ makes all this whole on the cross and in the resurrection we are given eternal life praise god amen it was good having another devotion with you i uh, will see you on palm sunday Oh, an announcement. Boy, Pastor Patty would have been mad at me. I have an announcement. We want you to bring a, a towel or a piece of cloth with you that you can wave when we wave because it's Palm Sunday.
and we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to have communion. And so what we need everyone to do is take and bring a, um, we're not, that's for Easter Sunday. An Easter Sunday announcement is we're going to have communion together. So on Easter Sunday, not this Sunday, but an Easter Sunday, we want you to have some bread and some a drink. Make it, it could be wine, it can be water, it, it, it could be coffee, but if you're drinking coffee all morning, let's not have it coffee. Make it something separate than what you're drinking. And so wine, water, grape juice, whatever it is, let's have something ready for communion and we'll, we'll work that together through the Holy Spirit and trust his presence in this. And in, in, in everybody have a great day. Take care.